at an event organized by the town of Newmarket for the Day of Truth and Reconciliation in 2022, also known as Orange Shirt Day in support of victims and survivors of the residential schools, the mayor of Newmarket told of how some years before he was called to a construction site where the vestiges of a First Nations longhouse from the 13th century had been discovered. He described how it impressed on him that from time immemorial, people have been living locally and on this continent ages before the first immigrant settlers arrived from Europe. This is precisely what we call to mind when we make what has become known as an Indigenous land acknowledgement. Let's have a look at what an Indigenous land acknowledgement is and what it is not. First, let's look at what a land acknowledgement is not. It is not about recognizing the legal standing of territorial or land claims. It is not about choosing to recognize one tribal claim at the expense of another. It is certainly not meant to create division or factions. It does not have to take precedence over opening prayers, although it can in itself be a form of prayerful thanksgiving. So what is it? A land acknowledgement is a recognition of a relationship between people and their land, a unique and enduring relationship between indigenous peoples and their traditional territories. Out of loving respect, therefore, a land acknowledgement should never be done as a form of tokenism. Rather, it flows from our understanding of the significance that such acknowledgement has to all our indigenous sisters and brothers, as well as our own Vincentian membership, which includes indigenous confreres. To be truly more than tokenism or a mere formality, our making a land acknowledgement seeks to contain three elements summed up in the words recognition, respect, and reconciliation or peace. Why do we recognize the land? To recognize the land is an expression of gratitude and appreciation to those whose territory you reside on and a way of honoring the indigenous people who have been living and working on the land from time immemorial. It is also part of indigenous protocol to honor the land of those you are visiting or working and living on. It is important to understand the long-standing history that has brought you to reside on the land and to seek to understand your place within that history. By incorporating land acknowledgement in our society, we are contributing to the process of honoring and embracing the spirit of a place. The importance of living with nature is one that indigenous people have understood for many years, but is one we are now appreciating as part of the changing environmental concerns we all share. Land acknowledgement is also about respect, respect for the historical and ancestral relationship that indigenous people have had and continue to have with the land, climate and all creatures. The example of the respect indigenous people have for the land is very relevant in today's world of climate and environmental concerns. In his encyclical Laudato Si, Pope Francis speaks of cultural ecology. We could learn much from the indigenous concept of nature and human beings being connected. Indeed, this concept is the basis for systemic change which is the overarching term our social justice efforts come under. We are connected to one another, 
to nature, to God. Making a land acknowledgement is not an end in itself. It is not a point of arrival, but needs to be seen as a starting point on a joint journey of discovery, seeking peace and reconciliation. A starting point by the Society of St. Vincent de Paul in our efforts to gain a deeper and richer understanding of indigenous history, culture and faith traditions. Any land acknowledgement without a sincere effort to take further actions is of little use. The negative effect systemic racism has on black, indigenous and people of color is well documented in poverty statistics. How and why indigenous peoples are affected by systemic racism should be part of our journey of understanding as we move beyond simply making an indigenous land acknowledgement. This accords fully with our Vincentian mission. Our society is concerned not only with alleviating need, but also with identifying injustices that cause it. We cannot ignore our obligation to address injustices that directly contribute to and sustain poverty for many in today's world. Thank you for your time and attention.